What's up guys, your boy Style back here today with another video. And there's some recent news that uh, EA has claimed to have learned their lesson. And this comes from the website TheVerge.com. If you want to read the full article, I could put the link to it in the description boxes. And uh, what it says is, according to Patrick Sutherland, who was recently made the Chief Design Officer, the last six months have been an important learning experience for the company. An experience that will help shape EA moving forward. Quote, I'd be lying to you if I said that's what happened with Battlefront and what's happened with everything surrounding loot boxes and these things haven't had an effect on us as a company and an effect on us as management. We can shy away from it and pretend like it didn't happen or we can act responsibly and realize that we made some mistakes and try to rectify those mistakes and learn from them. Battlefront 2 along with other games last fall like Destiny 2, Shadow of War, I'm surprised Need for Speed Payback wasn't on here, uh, with similar but less vitriolic controversies for their inclusion of loot boxes and various microtransactions. Shadow of War removed its microtransactions while Destiny 2 continues to deal with disgruntled with a disgruntled community six months later. It's pretty much a dead horse at this point. Uh, we had the intent that, quote, we had the intent that was designed for us to have more people to play it over a long period of time, and like a lot of other games in the market, to be able to afford to do that, we had an idea about getting returns from that. But at the same time, we got it wrong, and as a result, we had to take very quick and drastic actions to turn everything off and we've since worked and redesigned the, the progression system. People seem to appreciate what we've done, players are coming back and we're seeing stronger engagement numbers. People seem to think that for the most part we got it right. It doesn't mean we'll stop. We'll continue to improve the game, we'll continue to push on these things and we'll have to be very cautious with what this means for future products. Sutherland says that he's hopeful that Battlefront 2 can be saved, which the game missed its sales targets, which EA blamed on the loot box controversy. I doubt it'll be saved. It's it's a dead horse at this point. Um, Sutherland says that following Battlefront 2, EA had, is looking at this area with more scrutiny than ever. Quote, we have taken significant steps as a company to review and understand the mechanics around monetization, loot boxes, and other things in our games before they go to market. For games that come next, for Battlefield or Anthem, players have made it very clear that we can't afford to make similar mistakes, and we won't. Microtransactions will be returning for Battlefront 2 next week, but will be cosmetic only. If anyone who don't know, the crystals that, has, that was in the game in the first place are coming back next week. Uh, recently the co-op narrative driven game A Way Out has sold a million copies in its first three weeks in which EA predicted it wouldn't sell one million in its entire lifetime. Now if it sold a million after three weeks then that ought to tell them that maybe people like narrative driven games even though it is a co-op game. Uh, and Andrew Wilson has shuffled the company's executive team, which he said, quote, would sharpen the focus on the creative core of EA. Laura Mill will be the new chief studio officer, pretty much almost with the same thing that uh, Patrick Sutherland is doing. Blake Jorgensen, the pink Star Wars, the pink Darth Vader guy, uh, along with being the, ch the chief financial officer, he will also now be the chief operating officer. Chris Bruzo will be the chief marketing officer and Matt Bibley will be the executive vice president president of strategic growth. It's quote it's clear to us that players see the company very differently than we do. And in that situation as a member of the executive team, as the guy who runs all the studios, I have to take that seriously. And we have to understand what's triggering that. We have to be very cautious of what we do. We have to take action and show people that we're serious about building the best possible products 
and that we're serious about treating players fair and we're here to make the best possible entertainment that we can and in the cases where we don't get it right we just have to listen and learn from it and be better um i have to agree with what he says but uh actions speak louder than words i mean we can listen to all this and say good good but i hope no one actually honestly believes them right now i mean because saying these things and doing these things actually doing it and proving it that you're learning and you're listening and you want to be for us the players is another another different thing entirely and the fact that I mean, I know there wasn't really much backlash surrounding it, but Need for Speed Payback, to my knowledge, now still has loot boxes in it. It still has micro gambling mechanics in it that still isn't fixed. Now, hopefully, because of this controversy, that it may change for the next Need for Speed. And honestly, though. I hope moving forward with the games that they got coming out now, their sports titles, they're going to do well regardless, even though I'm not really, I'm done with sports games now. It's like Madden's getting old for me. I've never been a FIFA fan. Um, same as NBA Live. Like, I've never really been an NBA Live fan at all. So, moving forward, I think with Battlefield 5 and this year and with Anthem coming out next year will be high key interesting to see if EA really really has changed and when Battlefield 5 comes out I may not pre-order I may wait for reviews and see what everyone says if it says it's okay it's good fine then I'll copy but if not I won't be touching it um, but with that being said guys what do you guys think about this do you, do you agree with Patrick Sutherland do you take his word seriously do you think he's bullshitting let me know down in the comments below we can have a discussion and talk about it. if you enjoyed my video smash that like button as hard as you can subscribe to my channel if you're new and uh tap the notification bell that way you stay up to date on all my content you'll never miss a video and until next time guys i'm out